welcome back, or indeed welcome to the channel. If you've been following us for the last uh, nine months, you'll know we've been hooning around on a motorcycle all over South Africa and finally a three-week thrash round Southern Africa, which was all very pleasant. So that's it, bike gone. I'm feeling bereaved. It's terrible. <laughs> to, no bike, but at least we can focus now on doing what we're here to do, which is go sailing. So that's what we're doing now. We'll be doing a bit of this. Quite a lot of this, I suspect. And hopefully lots of this. So it's time for us to leave Cape Town. Why? No. <laughs> nah, we'll leave it another few days. Because right now it's chucking it down Langkawi style. Beautiful Saturday morning here in Cape Town and the tablecloth on Table Mountain is just looking spectacular as it drops over the mountain. This is the read up. There is Signal Hill with its flowers, spring flowers in bloom. Beautiful day. Cape Town's a nice mix of tourism and a working port. Drilling supply ships, research ships and fishing boats. And out there, I'll show you shortly, you can see the waves pounding on the breakwater. And that's why we're still here. The v and a waterfront's all very pretty. A bustling little place full of restaurants, cafe and gift shops. Get your own stuffed animals here. One of the attractions of Cape Town is the sea lions, or Cape fur seals. The bad news is they honk and bark all night long and we are just uh, shut up over there. I gotta sleep with earplugs to drown out the beasts. Now isn't that spectacular? It's going to be a shame to leave it behind. But we have to go, we can't stay forever. So we've got a whole bunch of new running rigging. And the latest job for today, put on the boom preventers and get rid of the putting green. Been keeping the UV off our precious trampoline so I don't go plummeting through into the ocean one day. We've got a chippy coming to do the chart table, not the chart table, the dining table, and then we're a step closer to getting out of here. So give it a quick sanding and then six coats of your lovely varnish, and it looks like this in the end, all worth it. Oh here we go, I'm frozen, oh. went to get the food from the wee lady up the hill that we met during the summer who does cook food, cooked and frozen. So I get sent there without any money. So I had to leave the poor woman a promissory note. I promise I'll be back. 35 frozen meals for two, all an Eskimo could need. I put the light on. Get out, what's the problem? It wasn't in there before. I put the big light on. And this is her little furry friend. He's been on board before, but Anne had been up all night saying, He's out there, he's I out there, he was... do something, do something. Yeah, but I'm sleeping, so hey, no thanks. You see, 20 minutes ago, one of the gorgeous rich girls came into the cockpit screaming like she'd been stabbed. <laughs> and it turns out that all the noises we heard last night, let alone the giant dump in the middle of the cockpit, was from this character. 
right in the back of our flipping locker and want to come out and you stick a pole in it tears it apart with some very sharp teeth yeah have a kip there in your own good time pal <coughs> you coming out no i'm comfy oh let me see the teeth on that fucking fucking thing keep um, back he'll go for you you went for me. Probably pregnant, we'll have six of them in the morning. Never mind the teeth on that. What about the teeth on this? Now I've had this fang, what my dentist calls a lighthouse tooth, for decades and decades and I've always wanted rid of it. The lovely people at Dr. Sher's surgery said, we can fix that. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. And look, thanks to all the team at Dr. Sher's surgery in Cape Town, I've joined or rejoined the Happy Smile Club. And this is the working team that <laughs> made me look all pretty again. The tooth fairies. Right. Okay, Mr. Yaris, you can go now. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. For years, in capital cities across the world, I have avoided this. Through a combination of skillful timing, managing priorities, and a wealth of entirely plausible excuses, I've managed to keep my feet on terra firma. Despite all these efforts, it's come to me. Oh no! <laughs> Sit down and shut up. Anne had decided we would reprise our visit to Cape Town and surrounding areas and I was going whether I liked it or not. And I'm just keeping this on in case my motorbiking buddies see me. This is the imaginatively called Long Street. A number of the old buildings still exist. Unfortunately, they're again surrounded by skyscrapers, as usual. It doesn't take long to leave the city behind, and you're out in the leafy suburbs and vineyards, and eateries. The last supper. Yeah. The final yeah. breakfast. Final breakfast. We counted up something like we visited 33 different <coughs> countries or something. Uh, you know, most of these you have a very light touch. And in South Africa we've done a lot better. But people always ask us, where's the nicest place you've been? And I think, with apologies to New Zealand, I think Cape Town and South Africa are at the top of the list now. It's been fabulous. Chrut Constancia Vineyard from 1600s. The last breakfast. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. So this is Hout Bay, the alternative anchorage marina for Cape Town area. We would have come here, but we wanted the security of the VNA while we left the boat to go cycling. But it is a beautiful location. And it blows like stink. We say about 80 knots whistles through here, which is why we weren't that keen on leaving the boat, but it is quite pretty. And for viewers from Largs, specifically John Curry, funny to see Club 19's here. They have an active racing fleet. Two times a week they go out, I think, and they get about seven or eight boats. Your boats may be here, John.
looking north out to sea from Camps Bay and Jings, we've got to go out in this in the next few days and the waves are forecast to get even bigger. And we've rewired the AIS, paid the money to predict wind, so those that are interested can follow us on www.timebandit.co.uk and if we can avoid these five meter waves then we should appear in Luderitz in middle of next week or if we skip Luderitz in St Helena in about 10 days. So thanks for watching, give us a thumbs up if you liked it, give us a thumbs up if you didn't like it, but thanks for watching, goodbye Cape Town, see you again.